Okay, today I will go to the new topics. Okay, new topics. That's a chapter seven. Okay, seven point one about the formation of the images by lenses. Okay, lenses. I will learn about the lens. Okay, first one we go to introduce what means of the lens. Okay, a lens is a transparent medium. Okay, such as a glass, which has one or two curved surface. So that means the lens at least lah, at least is one part is a curved surface. Okay, two also can, one also can ah. So the lenses are divided into two types. Okay, first type we call it as a convex lens. Okay, another one is a concave lens. Okay, we show the diagram. Okay, convex lens. You can see this one is a double curve. Both side also curve. You can see this one is a thicker one. Okay, you can say the body shape lah. The body shape is a fat one at the middle. Okay, this one is a one side is a shape. Ah, uh, one side is a curved one. Okay, this one both side also curved, but the same like the moon shape. Okay, these three also can say there's a type of the convex lens. So this one we call biconvex. This one we call plano convex. This one we call convex meniscus. Okay, so we see the concave. What's the difference? Ah, uh? concave is a thin one okay you can see the concave both part also curve but curve in when they curve in you can see the body shape becomes slim so this one is a thin at the middle so this one we call by con concave okay this one is one side is a curve in so this one is a plana concave and the last one is a concave meniscus so that mean make sure you differentiate what's a convex what's a concave okay Convex is a fat one, concave is a thin one. Okay, to the lenses. Okay, every lenses got different of the characteristic. Okay, now we're going to see what happened to the light ray after pass through the lens. Okay, now the ray they will pass the light they will pass through the lens. We see what happened for the lens. Okay, first one if convex lens. Okay. When the light just pass through the lens, they will focus. You can see the three lay. They come from parallel. Okay, the blue, the green, and the red color ray. They come from the parallel. After pass through the convex lens, they will focus. Okay, three will combine. After that, they focus to one point. So this one is a convex. Okay, how about a concave? Concave is a different. Concave tree also come from the barrier, but after pass through the concave, you find it they never focus. They are open wider, okay? They are open wider, so we say this one is a divided, okay? They divide to the open area, so this one is a differences convex and concave, okay? So from here we're going to see the explanation. Light ray converge. After passing through the convex lens, okay. So this one we can call it as another name. They're called converging lens because they focus to one point. Okay, another one is a concave light ray divert. Ah, this one we call divert. When it just open wider, we call it as a divert. Divert after passing through the concave lens. So this one we another name we call it diverging lens. So remember, convex. There's a fat one. When the light just go, they focus. So another thing we call it as a converging lens. Okay, concave is a thinner. When the light just go, they divert, open wider. So this one is another thing we call it diverging lens. Okay. Now we got two type of the lenses, ah. Huh? Okay. So you can see here. Okay, the first diagram. Okay, can you see there is a focus to one point? That means they cannot see overall. They only focus to this word only. Okay, you see this one. When I just observe the dark, okay, I can observe the whole dark. So that means I'm the open wider. I can see wider. Then the first one diagram, they just can see only one part. The rest cannot see. So this one we call it as a convex because they focus to one point. So you only can focus the point lah. If divert, that means you can see wider, bigger area. You can see. But the image is a smaller, okay. So from here, this one is an example. The light ray after pass through the concave and also convex. So this one convex when it just go focus. This one is a concave. You can see the light they open 
wider. Okay, now we're going to see the con. Uh, we go to convex first, ah. Huh? Okay, for the convex, okay. Normally, the light when it just parallel, ah, uh, this one we call parallel. After pass the convex lines, okay. Remember when you draw the convex, when they pass the center line, you must draw one dotted line at the middle of the convex lines. Dotted line, ah. Huh? After they touch the dotted line, then they start to refract it. When they start to the refract it, they will go to focus point. Okay, this one is a focal point. So they all will meet here. Okay, so from here, we can mention this one as a focal light. Focal point is capital F. Okay, when you want to count focal length, focal length is a distance. Distance between the lens to F. So this one we call focal light. So we're using small Okay, now we go see explanation. This one is a convex lens. The focal point is a point where the light ray parallel to the principal axis. Okay, principal axis is a center line. Okay, convert after passing through the convex lens. So that means all the parallel light ray after pass through the lens, they will convert. Convert go where? Convert to the focal point. Okay, so this one we first introduce the focal point first. Okay, then we got concave. Concave also same. You can see all the parallel go. After that, they divert, is it? Okay, they open wider. But I want you to draw back. After they open wider, I want you to draw the dotted line. Then they need to focus at the back. Just now it's focused in front. Now I want you to focus at the back. So when it just focus to the back, so this point, we call it as a focal point. So what's the difference? Convex, the focal point is in front. Concave, the focus point is behind. Okay? So they still got principal axis. So from here, the explanation is when the light ray reach divert, okay, divert, uh, after passing through the concave lens, they are extrapolated so extrapolated means they pull back they come back make it become longer and come back extrapolated backwards so the light ray they will intercept at the point okay when they just extrapolated come back so the four line here they will focus finally they will meet okay when they just meet the point we call it as a focal point okay so remember the focal point for the concave is behind Okay, after divert, you need to pull back. Okay, for the convert, uh, for the concave, no need. Straightforward, after pass, they will meet. Uh, so that one is a focal point. Okay, so make sure you differentiate convex and concave focal point where they're located. Okay, uh, so this one we also call it as a focal line. Focal line always is between the focal point and also the center of the lenses. So I don't care concave or convex. Lah. At the center, when you just count from the center to the F, so we call it as a focal length. Okay, there's a small F. Okay, so this one is a one activity. So you can see what happened after they're passing the uh, convex lens. So this one, when it's just passing using the three light ray, when it just pass, so they will focus to one point. Okay, this one is a, a concave. When the three parallel, when they just pass, you find it, they open wider. Okay, they open wider. Okay, so you need to determine the focal length, okay, of the convex lens. So this one is a convex lens. So from here, we need to know the symbol. Uh. Okay, we got 2F, we got F, we got so many symbols, but we don't know what means. So now we go to give the meanings. Okay, first one is a U. Okay, this one is an object, is it? Center. O is the center of the lens. So that means from the O to the object, we call U. Okay, what's a U? Object distance. Okay, if I say object distance 2 cm means from the O to the object, that's a 2 cm. Okay, so this one called object distance. Okay, the symbol is a U. Okay, if I say V, V means what? V is a, from the image. Uh, this one is an image. To the O. O is the center of the 
lens. So that means we every time count from center of the lens. Uh, so center of the lens is a middle line. So from the center of the lens go to the image, we call it as an image distance. So we label there's a V. Okay, there's a V. Okay, and the last one should be the F, lah, focal length. So focal length in front got F, behind also got F1. Okay, both is the same length. Okay, if I say 1 cm, both also 1 cm. So focal length is 1 cm. So another side, focal length also must be 1 cm. Okay, 2F actually, what's the meaning? 2F means 2 focal length. Lah. Okay, 1F means 1 focal length. 2F means 2 focal length. Okay, so normally the object, <clears throat> the question will provide it. Okay, what we need to draw, we draw image. Okay, so now we go to, this one is a convex, huh? then we go to concave. Concave also same. Huh? Okay, object. Object is here. Center of the lens. So this one we call it object distance. That's a U. Okay, next. <clears throat> Can you see the image now? Now the image is same with the object positions. Okay, this one is a left hand side, is it? Now the image and object same at the left hand side. Okay, but you see the image very small. Okay, very small. So from here, I can draw the uh, image distance from the center of the object. Uh, so, sorry, from the center of the lens, go to the image. So this one is a V. Image distance. Okay. So we continue. Then after that, we're going to see F. Lah. F is the same. Lah. Focal line. In front and behind also is the same. There's a focal line. Okay. So that means focal line for the convex and concave is the same one. Okay. Depend. You want to set how many. In front and behind must, must got. So just only the concave. Uh, sorry. This one is a concave and not convex. Uh. So when you just draw concave, remember the ray is open wider. After that, pull back. Pull back, go to the behind F. Okay, it's convex, straightforward, go, focus to in front, focal point. Okay, so, so after I introduce all the things, then we go through to the next part. Okay, explanation. Eh? So O, just now we every time say about the O, is it? O, we call it optical center. Okay, center, eh? optical center. There's a point of the center of the lens. The light ray which pass through the optical center do not refract it. You see, when I pass through the, uh, the center, actually don't have any bending. It's straightforward, straight line. So any line just pass through center, we don't have any bending, a straight line pass through. So they say don't have any reflect. Okay, principal axis, the whole line we call principal axis, lah, the black color one. So a straight line passing through the optical center of the lens and also the focal point. So from the behind, go to the O, then go to the F, the whole line we call principal axis. Okay, so O and principal axis. Then we continue to the next. Okay, axis of lens. A straight line which passing through the optical center is perpendicular to the principal axis. That means they're talking about the center. You see the lens? The middle got dotted line, is it? Uh, so this one dotted line we call axis of lens. So every time they bend, they're not at the side. They go to bend, you know. They never go to curve, then bend, no. They go until center, the axis of the lens, baru they bend. Okay, so every time you need to draw uh, this one because the question never provided. They just give you one lens. Then the center, you need to draw the line. Okay, after that, we got focal point. Uh, focal point, this one. Uh. Okay, focal point is for the convex lens. The focal point is a point of the principal axis. Then the right ray parallel. After that, they will go to the focal point. For the concave, uh, the focal point is behind. Okay, principal axis. Where the light ray parallel appear diverged from it after passing through it. So that means if the F behind, you need to divert, then pull back. Uh, that one is a concave. It's convex, 
You straightforward go, focus. Then that one is a convex. Okay, important is a these three. Uh, these three is a important. Focal line. Focal line. You see where is the F? Uh, this one they say focal point. Principal focal point. So principal focal point go to center. We call it as a focal line. So the label, this one is a F. So remember the word distance between focal point, F, capital F, and optical center. So this one we call focal line. Okay, object distance. Where's the object? Uh, object is here. Okay, the object is here. So from the object go to the O. Uh, that one we call object distance. Okay, now the image is here. Okay, from the image go to the O, uh, center of the lens. Uh, so this one we call image distance. Okay, so when I just write U, F, and V, uh, you must understand what is that. Okay, so we go to introduce the ray first. Uh. Later, we draw together. We go to introduce the first ray. Okay, when I say first ray, then you understood how to draw. Uh. Okay, first ray like this. Uh. Okay, the ray parallel to the principal axis. So parallel. Okay, then refracted through the focal point. Okay, remember just now I told you. Okay, the, uh, the ray... Okay, the ray must be focused to the F when this one is convex lens. So I draw the first ray. Okay, first ray like this. Okay, parallel uh, until the center axis. Okay, the dotted line. After that, they start to reflect it. Then they go find F. So this one we call first ray. Okay, so first ray actually you cannot get image, is it? One line how to cosine. So don't have any cosine, that means you cannot get the point. So at least got two line. Two line must be cosine. After that, you get the point. So I need to draw the second ray. Second ray is a simple. Second ray only straight line. Pass through the optical. Optical is a middle. So we go draw uh, a light ray heading towards the optical center. Continue in a straight line through the optical center without refracting. So you don't need to do, don't need to draw two lines because they don't have any refracting. So the straightforward go from the object head, straightforward go to center, and then until you cross, then you stop. Okay, this one we call second ray. Okay, yeah, second ray, yeah. Okay, when they just cross already, okay, now you need to start to draw your image. Uh, this one is an image. Okay, can you see the horizontal line? The horizontal line is a 2F, F, and also F. This one horizontal line. Okay, normally how to draw the image? Your image must same like the object. Okay, your object is a one arrow, is it? Your image also must be arrow lah. Okay, but we need to start from the horizontal line to draw. Okay, you cannot start from here. The cross one, we start from the horizontal. If I start from the horizontal, that means I need to come downwards. I need to come downwards. So like this. Okay, come downwards until the point and you stop. So you can see the image now is the ballet one. The ballet. Okay, so this one we call what image? This one we call real image. Okay, real image. That means you put the screen, actually you can see. The one called real image. Okay, so from here, what uh, what you need to remember? First ray, how to draw. Second ray, how to draw, pass through the center. When it just cross ready, then you need to draw the image. The image, how to draw? You must start from the horizontal. Okay, from the horizontal, then you pull downwards. So that one is a real image. Don't pull until the end. Uh. Just pull until the point. Okay, so this one is a image later you need to draw. Uh. Okay, this one is a convex. Okay, we need to go is a concave. Concave also same, got two lines. First, okay, the light will parallel. Ah, can you see they divert? They go to open, then you pull back. Pull back, go to F. Uh, so they say extrapolated backwards, then they go to find F. 
Okay, second ray is the same. Dun K convex or concave. The second ray must go center. Okay, they must go center. Ah, like this only. Okay, now you can see where they cross. Ah, they cross in front here. Okay, remember this one is a horizontal line. I must start from the horizontal line. So now the arrow must go up. Okay, the arrow is up. Okay, where they cross, you just up. Then until they cross, then you stop. Lah. Okay, so this one we call virtual image. Virtual image means cannot capture on the screen. Okay, example, mirror. Your mirror cannot capture on the screen. You can see your face. But if I'm using the a paper to close the with a mirror, you cannot see your face already. So that one we call virtual image. Okay, example projector. Projector is a real image. I put the screen, then you can see the image. Okay, if the mirror, I put the screen, you cannot see the image. The one we call virtual image. Okay, so from here, now we continue. Huh? Remember number one and number two, how to draw. Okay, we go through convex first, concave later. Convex first. Huh? Okay, prepare your paper. Huh? So we start. Okay, let's see one short diagram, a uh, short video first. Huh? Okay, so this one is your object. Object is a tree. Okay, so this one Malay. Huh? So they say object is behind 2F. Okay, so they're using the uh, third, second ray first. Uh, second ray, the straight forward, go to the center. Okay, so one straight line only. Okay. Uh, then they're using the another ray. So another ray, just now I told you the first ray. Lah. Uh, they go to parallel. Uh, after that, go to 5F. Okay, go to 5F. Okay, after that, can you see the cross? Uh, cross already, that means this one we call image distance. Lah. This one we call focal point, uh, focal length. This one we call object distance. So from here now, they want to draw the image. Uh, the image must start from the horizontal line. So you can see the tree now is the balik. Okay, the tree is the balik. Okay, so the characteristic you need to mention uh, later. Song sang means the balik. Okay, mengeci. So that means we compare the size slide. You can see the image becomes smaller. And the last one, nyata. Nyata means real image. Okay, when they just appear at this part, sure it's a real image. When your image appear together with the object position, that one is a virtual image. Okay, so now we need to start step by step. Okay, okay, I want you to focus object further than 2F. Can you see my object is behind the 2F? So that means the object is very far away. Lah. Okay, more than two focal point. Okay, also same, we're using first ray and second ray. Okay, now we start. Lah. So the center, you help me to draw, make it become longer. Okay, center, you draw one dotted line, you make it become longer. So later, the ray must go until this line, balloon bend, ah. until curve cannot bend, ah. must until the center line. Okay, first ray, we start, ah. Okay, first ray. Okay, you have to draw. First ray from the head of the object, go until F, then you stop. Then we continue to second ray. Second ray from the head, go to center. Okay, like this. Okay, after that, can you see the cross ready? When it just cross ready, now I want you start from the horizontal line, the black color, this one. Draw downwards from the line, draw. From the line, start to draw. Huh? Then go to this dot. So that means the image is like this. Okay, so this one is real image because it's located at this part. Okay, now your exercise there. They got one of the column to let you to write the characteristic. So what you need to write, you need to show image is between F and 2F. Okay, now your image is where? Located between F and also 2F. Uh, how many between? Don't know. Lah. We just know between only. Okay, after that, what is the characteristic? First one, 
this location sure is a real. Okay, real. Now you compare object and image. Inverted or upright. Upright means you stand, your head at the top, and uh, my head also top. Lah. That one we call upright. If inverted means terbalik. Now my image and object already terbalik. Yes or no? Can you see terbalik? Ah? So from here, we just write inverted. Okay, I just can tell you for the real and inverted, that one is a partner. Always together. When you just mention there's a real, sure, inverted. Okay, and the last one, we compare the size. Size sudah jadi kecil. Is it? So this one, we call it as a diminish. Okay, so I just show. Okay, so we're going to check this one. Huh? Image is between F and 2F. Then real inverted diminish. Okay, real inverted and diminish. So this one where we use, we use is a camera lens. So normally the object is a big, is it? After you take the photo, you find it becomes smaller. So this one is a camera lens. Okay, object bigger. Finally, your image becomes smaller. And your image is a terbalik one. When you see there's a terbalik one. Okay, if the last one, the, the old star one, they got film, is it? Film actually is a one of the screen. So that means your image can capture on the screen. But now don't have film already. Lah. Okay. So we continue for the second one. Ah. Second one, I want to move the object come in. Okay, just now the object is behind. After 2F is it. Now I want to move the object go to 2F. Okay, you see what happened for the image. Okay, now the object is 2F already. Okay, we're still using number one. This one you draw first. Number one. Then we go number two. Ah, now you can see exactly at the two F. Now my object is a, as uh, image is a, exactly at the two F. Okay, so I need to draw the image lah. Okay, the image is here. Okay, also the ballet one and the image because you start from the horizontal, then you draw downwards. So from here we need to say about where's the location. Okay, the image is exactly two F. Okay, how about the size? The size is the same, same size, no changes. Okay, then inverted and also there is a real. So from here, your characteristic real, inverted, same size as the object. Okay, so when just now is smaller, now when you just move the object come nearer, now your image become same size. Okay, that means your, your image become bigger already. Lah. Just now it's smaller, is it? Now become same size. Okay, where are we using this one lens? Okay, we're using at the photocopy machine. So that means if the normal uh, photocopy, you never adjust any uh, the lenses, you don't have any zoom, actually there's the same size. Just take one of the paper, A4 paper, then you want to photocopy, they have photocopy exactly the same one. So this one is a... Uh, using for the photocopy machine. Okay, convex lens. Okay, now I want to move again from the 2F. Okay, just now the object 2F is it. I want to move in. I want to move in between F and 2F. We see what happened for the image. Huh? I keep moving my object closer. Okay, I keep moving object is closer. We see what happened for the image. So I go to continue for number three. Okay, object now is between 2F and F. Okay, so I don't, I don't care where the location are important is between. Uh. Okay, I also using number one and number two, I go to draw. Okay, first. Okay, then the second one, I pass center. Ah, can you see the cross already? Is it? So now I need to draw my image. Okay, my image must start from the horizontal and pull downward, is it? So I draw. Ah, you can see my image very big already. Okay, my image is very, very big already. Okay, so that means when the object just closer, when the object come closer and closer, my image become bigger and bigger. Is it? Just now when, when the object is behind 2F, you find it the image is smaller. When the object at the 2F, 
you find the image become same size. Now I move the object between already. So you find the image become larger. Uh, so this one is a relationship. When the object is further, the image becomes smaller. So from here, where's the image? Image is further than 2F. Okay. Characteristic still the same. Real, inverted. But now it's a magnified. Okay. We only got three. Eh? First one, diminish. Second one, same size. And third one, magnify. Okay. Magnify means larger. Eh? So where we use it? We use it as a projector. LCD projector. So normally in the school, you can see the projector, the image become larger already, is it? Uh, so this one is a, a complex lens. Okay, where's the locator of the object? The different locator of the object, they will adjust the image to the difference. Okay, then we continue. Uh. Now I want to continue move my object. Uh. Now my object want to in until F. Uh, when the object just in until F, okay, all changes. All changes already. The pattern not same already. So you remember when the object just come in F, okay, now no more real. No more inverted already. The chain pattern. Okay, we see how to change the pattern. Huh? Okay, we go to continue. Okay, now the object is at the F. Okay, exactly at the focal point. Okay, you see, I draw center first, then I draw first ray. Okay, first ray is the same. Second ray also same, but I want to find where is my image. Huh? Okay, can you see? Red color and blue color sure cannot cross one. Both also parallel how to cross. Is it? So that means the image no more real. Okay, this part is a real, is it? No more already. Okay. So if this part cannot cross, then I go another part. Lah. I try. I try go to object part. I see can cross or not. So I extend. Okay. I make the line become longer. Okay. When this part we draw by using dotted line. Eh? This part is a virtual one. We're using dotted line. So I go to extend the blue and extend the red color. Can you see these two also parallel? Also cannot cross one. Okay, so that means both sides also cannot cross. That means you cannot see the image. Okay, cannot see the image means what? Infinity. The image is an infinity. Example, the star, the moon, the sun, that one is an infinity image. Okay, so from here, we need to explain. Where is the image? The image is infinity. Okay. Then the characteristic, okay, characteristic, we follow this part. Okay, we never go to down already. So this one is another pattern. So this one pattern, virtual. Virtual, virtual must together partner is upright. Okay, just now it's real, partner is inverted. So now it's virtual, virtual partner must be upright. Upright means you stand, I also stand. Uh, just now it's I stand, you sit. Uh, that one is the body same like the object okay after that magnify okay become bigger okay become bigger so where they go to apply this all thing okay they use for the spotlight okay your car got spotlight is it so that means when you just on the normal light uh, the light just go to downwards when i just on the high light uh, high light when you just on uh, you can see the light go very far uh, that one we call infinity. The light go to infinity already. So they can go the further. That means you can see the far away for car to come or not. So this one we call uh, infinity image. So they're using for the spotlight, car spotlight. The light can go further. Okay. So this one is uh, uh, the object when located at the F. So this one special. Uh, when the question just say infinity, infinity, so you must think about where's the object. The object is at the F. <clears throat> okay, then we go to the last one. Last one means the object continue to move in. Lagi masuk. 
Okay. So we see lagi masuk what happened. Ah? Okay. So this is one of the diagram, uh, one of the video to show you a bit. Okay. You see when uh, lagi masuk, uh, this is an object already in, uh, in the F. Uh, you see what happened. Now the object distance is a less, less than the F. Okay. Now the draw. Draw the first ray and second ray. Okay, pass through the center, go down. Okay, then they continue draw the first ray, go to the F. Uh, now you see these two ray is open, cannot join one. So they go to extend. Okay, they need to extend. Huh? So extend to the left hand side. Okay, we can see. When they just extend, ah, they can cross. Just now cannot cross, but this one they can cross already. Uh, when they cross ready, so I draw my image. There's a, another image. So this one image is same like the position with the object. So this one image sure is a virtual image. Okay, but this one image become bigger. Okay, bigger. Okay, where we use it? We using for the uh, magnifying glass. Kanta pembesar. Okay, you cannot see the uh, words, is it? You're using your magnifying glass, you go to uh, focus, then you can see, wow, very big the words. Okay, so this one is uh, uh, when the object is moved in the F. So we're going to see how to draw. Okay, now my object already inside the F, uh, inside the F already. So I still continue start to draw the center drawing. Okay, continue for first ray. First ray, go to the F. Okay, second ray, uh, now you can see open wider. Open wider sure cannot cross one. So I need to extend. So I extend, I using dotted line to extend the red and extend the blue. Uh, now you can see the cross ready. I cross any way up to you. Uh, some you ask, uh, can I cross after 2F? Can. Can I cross uh, in, in front of the 2F? Also can. Important is after the object. Lah. Okay, important is after the object. So from here, I need to start from the horizontal. This one's the horizontal, the black color. From the horizontal, I move up. Okay, always start from the horizontal. I move up. So I need to move up my image. Okay, my image from the horizontal, I move up, then I draw the arrow. So this one is my new image. Okay, when you draw the image, also must dot the line because this area is a virtual uh, virtual area. So we draw by dot the line. So this one is a virtual image. <clears throat> virtual image means when I just close, you cannot see. Eh? So example, magnifying glass. Okay, you're going to see the words. When I'm using one of the paper to close, that means you cannot see already. So that means this one is where's the located for your image further than the F. F and 2F, la. normally F. La. Okay, further than F. Okay, somebody they draw maybe near is a 2F. You see, i not over 2F. i just after the F. So normally you draw must over the F. La. Okay, then after that, the characteristic, same like just now. Virtual upright. This side sure is a virtual and upright. Okay, this location. Uh. Then compare the size. The size become bigger. Magnify. Okay, where we use it? We use it for the magnifying glass. Okay, kanta pembesar. Okay, so we draw five diagram already. Are you still okay? You need to memorize no. The characteristic you need to memorize because sometimes the question example for objective objective never draw for you. Okay, they just ask you, oh, now when my object is at the F, what happened? Uh, then you need to answer. Lo. When the object at the F, what happened? Infinity law. Uh, you must think. Okay, when my object is in front of the F, what happened? Oh, virtual upright, magnify. Uh, you need to memorize these situations. Okay, we go through, uh, we still got five minutes. Huh? So I go through the last part. Last part is a concave. Concave. 
Okay, concave also same. We're using first ray. Remember the concave and convex, the first ray is a difference. Huh? Okay, concave, the first ray is go, then divert. Go, divert, then pull back. Uh, this one is the first ray for concave. Okay, second ray for the concave is the same. Okay, just only one line, go to center. Okay, now can you see the cross? They cross very small. Eh? Concave always cross here. Always same position with the object one. You can see the cross here. So very small, so I just draw like, very small the arrow. Very small. Okay, what is the characteristic? So this area characteristic is a virtual. Virtual partner is a upright. Then you see the image becomes smaller already, is it? So from here, we just write, where is the location between the optical center and focal point? Okay, this one is the optical center. The F is the focal point. My image must, this area only, it cannot move anywhere. Really. Only this area. So the answer is virtual, upright, diminish. Okay, for the concave, I don't need to draw so much because... Any location for the object, the answer is the same. I don't care the object they move behind or move in. Your image always like this. Cannot go anywhere. Really. This one is a concave. So that means concave every time they give you the image must be diminished. Very small one. Okay. So I let you to see another example from your textbook one. Okay. You see my image. My image come in already, you know. Come in the F. You see where is my object? Um, um, object come in the F. You see my image? My image still here. But high a bit. Lah. Just now very short, is it? When the object just go to further, yeah, your image becomes smaller. Lah. When my object just come near, so your image become bigger. But your image still at this area. Cannot move really. So the characteristic always is the same. Okay, always is the same. Huh? So from here, between the optical center focal point, then virtual upright diminish. So from here, the conclusion is the characteristic image formed by the concave lenses for any object distant. Okay, your image must virtual upright diminish. Okay, position must between object and concave lens. Okay, must be here. The location for the image must be here. Okay, so concave only got one type. Convex got so many types. Okay, just the convex you need to remember is before go in the F. Okay, and after go in the F. Before go in the F is a one type. There's a real inverted type. When you just go in the F, there's a virtual and also upright. Okay, so this one you need to digest today. Eh? So from here, <clears throat> this one should be the last one. So what you need to do, first one, 7.1 from the textbook. Okay, number two is this one in Google Classroom. Okay, I already upload. Then they also got one exercise you need to draw. Okay, today you follow me and draw. But this one is a PBD you need to print out. Or you don't have printer, you draw by yourself. Okay, you need to draw by yourself. After that, turn in. Okay, the due date is a Sunday. The due date is a Sunday. So you need to turn in before the Sunday. So today lesson, journey until here.